for me, if we want to go to the same standards in the military across the board, which they're starting to go to, I think the, the why don't we do the same standards in the Olympics? What do you mean? Why don't males and females compete against each other? Yeah, exactly. But you know, yes. and I'm, I'm, I, in my mind, I think that females and males in the military should have same standards when it comes to like yes. physical and stuff like that. Yes. I think that that I think that the military should be elite force like that. Yes. I think only the best of the best. I don't want to have like fat turds in there who you know, or like girls, guys or girls, girls. Yeah, either or guys or girls who can literally walk a mile and a half and still pass, you know, and like get paid the same as guys who have to, you know, train harder. There like, are girls that can do it. There I'm are not tons saying of girls. That there yeah. isn't. Well, here's, I'm not. Here's my. But that's the kind of feminist I am. Is that I wish that we all would play to our strengths and let them play to theirs and we can together make everything awesome and on top of it our strength is like being in fucking charge by the way here's yeah so. here's my perspective on things i don't think particularly that females really needed to be added into like these jobs with like navy seals mainly like uh seals and special forces because their program and everything they're doing worked perfectly fine like pjt like could a girl in the Air Force be a PJ and combat controller? Yeah, I think so all day long. Yeah. Will, like, because to me, they don't there do... There are jobs in the military probably that women are better at, correct? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm saying they could still do that because it's not like these guys go out in, like, yeah. 12-man teams and yeah. go, inter like, engage with, um, like, Afghan, like... Mm -hmm special forces and stuff like that that's a very different world and we have to realize too that um those cultures have very little respect for women right um and stuff and it's gonna be really hard for them to be part of those yes. groups and that's a very different dynamic yes. a 12-man team than it is being pjs don't get mad at me but kind of like a combat nurse mm -hmm. right where like great women are amazing at you know trauma and handling stress and handling stress being in charge calm under pressure and like. medical skills and stuff like that right and like yeah don't get me wrong they do cool things too like jump out of planes and you know rope in and all this other stuff but girls can do that too like it's not sure you had to be somewhat physical you had to be physically fit and you had to be a good swimmer but to me like those for me those jobs i'm like whatever Mm -hmm. But what we should have done, in my mind, instead of putting females in special forces and SEALs, is we should have started their own team of females, mm -hmm. right? And I know that there's, I know they have, like, FET teams, which are female engagement teams in the Marines. I know they have, like, CST teams. what would that teams. benefit, though? Like I'll show culture assessment, like, survival teams, I think, stuff like that. Okay, so when you think about it. There are certain things like special forces them do where they're like gathering intel and they're like infiltrating certain places and like trying to meet certain people and all this other stuff. Military guys tend to sometimes really stick out like sore thumbs, right? Mm -hmm. And they're not the sometimes the best at it. Yeah. And just like we said that, you know, we're very, as a female species, we're very, very intelligent. So we can learn other languages really easily. We're natural born interrogators. We yep. really are. Like, we're really good at that. We're very, very good at blending in. We can change our appearance super easily in so many different ways. Um, I do it every day. Right? So do I. <laughs> it, it's one of those things we're really good at. And the thing is, we're not as intimidating, you know, yeah. at all. You're going to, you can flirt. You can be sweet. You can be nice, like guys or girls. You can be a friend of chick and she won't think anything wrong with it. And she won't, you know what I mean? Or you can talk to a guy and maybe he thinks you're hitting on him. Mm -hmm. Whereas a guy, right they're a little bit more cautious maybe they come off with the wrong vibe maybe yeah. they piss off some dudes some girl might think they're hitting on them mm -hmm. like they want nothing to do with them right girls are very good at those things so you know with some of this stuff going on we can get information like that I got and also you. too when they go into these villages they're obviously you know military men aren't really going to talk to a lot of the females in some of these cultures because that's frowned upon because mm -hmm. they're not allowed to talk to yeah. other men yeah so that's where you need females mm -hmm. in there too. And I know there's teams out there like that, but why don't we just revamp these and build them up and really start? And I'm sure there are in three letter agencies and everything else, but I'm saying like, why, if we want females in these jobs, why don't we just kind of take what they did? There's, not make it as ground strength. pounder ish where yeah. we're like having to throw like mm -hmm. hundreds of pounds on their back and like it's all counterproductive to you know me I mean? where it's like let's play to your strengths yes yeah, you I'm should saying. be physically to fit our right strengths. but play to their st i love all of that because it's all true there's so many things that 
And I'm sure in the military and exactly what you're saying that women are just better at than men. Yeah. Right. There are certain things and vice versa. And just accepting that and go leaning into that, I think would do us a better, you know, service than what we're doing right now. Yeah. But you know, what? not that that's a huge really I can issue right now. At but least yeah. speak from experience. So in my career field, it was like one of the few specialized jobs in the Air Force that they allowed females in, right? And they've been allowing females in my career field for a decent amount of time, a couple decades. And there's barely any who make it because of the physical standards, right? And like the big thing that always got females to drop out um, or fail was like pull-ups because you have to do like a minimum of eight mm -hmm. to get in. And then Shoot. also, right? And then also uh, the ruck because you know, you're, you're rucking, which is means you have a heavy load at, you know, basically rock or backpack on your back and you are moving at a very brisk pace over mountainous terrain or very uneven terrain. Um, and you have to move quickly and fast. Oof. And so like when I went through my training, we had nine feet of snow out there and we are wearing big ass snowshoes and I have 120 pounds on my back. Uh, you know, and I'm keeping up with the dudes, but that's what you have to do, yeah. right? And so the way that these things can only really work if you do want to add females into it is you have to keep a level playing field. You have to keep all the standards intact. You ha If you want the girl to be respected by the guys, you have to keep the, the same standards. Um, there'd be, like, especially in these sp specific jobs where they are a little bit more intense, like, you have to, have to, have to keep everything the same. If you do not... You're doing the females a disservice because they're going to be hated by these guys. By the way, they're going to be hated by most anyway because a lot of these guys think, yeah. you know, like they're insecure and they don't want a female like doing better than them their job or, yeah, or doing yeah. better than them. Yeah. And I'll tell you right now, like, you know, there's always going to be people giving them excuses like, oh, well, people push them through and yada, yada, yada. And unfortunately, within some history of certain things, even like think the ranger schools because I read the whole assessment process. There was a lot of things done differently when those females made it that all the guys were like, that, I never had those opportunities. Yeah. And that wasn't done for me, so why was it done for them? Mm -hmm. And the Air Force actually took me, because I was one of the only females um, that was in a very similar job compared to all the rest of the you know Air Force kind of special ops jobs, like PJ, CCT, TAC, P, um, and weather. They took me and said, hey, we want you to assess all these training schools. And we want you to write a report for Congress and saying how women, we need to be integrated into this training. And of course I like talked about facilities and like mean like clothing and stuff, like how it'd be transferred over for females and what would make it easier for them and their lives easier so that it's not impeding training mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But then also um, I was like, keep the news away from them. Don't like, don't try to interview these girls and treat them any differently than any of the rest of the guys or shopping news agencies mm -hmm. and like reporters saying like, Oh, this is the first girl trying yeah, out yeah, for yeah. this. None of that stuff. Keep the standards the exact same. Do not change the standards at all. It's going to ruin A, B and C and D. This is throughout history. These are all the, you know, percentages. And they were like, wow. I'm like, yeah, and it's important to do that. Mm -hmm. And so for me, if they're now allowing all these females into all these combat jobs, then they need to, go ahead and put females into the draft now. And that's just my personal opinion, mm -hmm. because if they, that was the one thing females didn't have was being allowed to be in these combat jobs, right? Being on these front lines, going, you know, being engaging boots on the ground, what's what they call it. So now that females are allowed to do all the same things guys can do, then why cannot, why are females not being drafted too? You know what I mean? And a lot of guys are saying the same thing. Like, right. wait, what the hell is this? Mm -hmm. do, what, did they now get to pick and choose what applies to them and what doesn't? You know? Yeah. And so I guess Congress and some of these people did the same thing. Like, hey, this might need to be applied to them. However, now they're just talking about getting rid of it. Yeah. But that's just my humble opinion. Mm -hmm. As in, listen, I know it might suck. And not all the ladies are like, hey, I didn't want this. Yeah. Hey, I didn't want to do this job. Like, why do I need to be drafted? Right. Yeah. Type of thing. But this is kind of like how it goes. Like, if we all want the equality and we want to treat the same, like, you can't just pick and choose what applies to you, what doesn't. It's you get it all or, or you mm -hmm. don't. And mm -hmm. that's just how I feel, because that's the only way that the, the whole system works. Yeah. You can't say oh no 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 no! i want the job and i want all the benefits on but my I, terms when i want to do yeah, it if but i don't want to be deployed it. um and yeah. be away from my family mm -hmm. or i have kids and like mm -hmm. well well then don't do the job yeah yeah you've been watching every move and
Shoot!